Stay tuned for today's episode when we take a close look at how we executed this engine turn gold leaf job on this old sprint car. episode we are going to look at the uh, sometimes elusive um, uh, process of engine turn gold leaf and um, I'll show you some of the steps um, and we also have a really nice video clip of an old 1930s sprint car that I executed some engine turn gold leaf numbers on um, but I'll try to explain the process a little um, as we go through this so that you can understand what you have to do to get the desired effect and what steps are involved um, in the process. Okay, there's some basic tools um, and steps that are required to get the right effect with uh, engine turn gold leaf. And I will say this, um, having done a lot of these projects over the years, uh, I cannot emphasize enough, this is one um, uh, technique that I cannot tell you enough, make sure that you do test panel after test panel after test panel because it's all about the timing of the different stages and getting those down right. And it's, there's no other way to explain it other than you have to get the feel for it. If you go a little too quickly or a little too slow in the process, it won't turn out. So uh, the best way to get a handle on the process is to just do as many um, test panels as you can until you really understand how, literally how it feels. And so this is the main tool right here um, that's going to give you the effect. This is, um, you know, I've had this, I think, for 20 years. I don't remember where I got it. Different people pop up over the years and they'll, they'll make these um, and then sell them. And essentially what it is, is it's uh, just a, a wood dowel that's been covered in um, usually cotton and then has uh, velvet wrapped around it, which is extremely important that it's velvet. I've seen some guys uh, have some success on Instagram with um, like little felt circular things that they're doing. That's not to say that that doesn't work, but for 23 or 24 karat gold, the only thing that I've found that consistently gives me the effect that I'm after is the velvet. And that's the tradition. Everyone has used velvet. So this goes into a drill. It's designed to. And um, you can use, twist it by hand. I've done that on quite a few things just to give the gold more texture. But you're not going to get that engine turned old look um, that's, you know, very traditional with old fire engine graphics as well as old race cars without literally engine turning it so once it's in there and you get everything set up as you'll see in the video the steps of doing that there's a lot of nuance with um, the pressure and the speed in what you're doing and that's again that's why the um, test panels are so important um, the very first thing you're going to see, I thought I had footage of me um, painting the numbers with the size first, but I don't have clips of that. I thought I did. Um, and so you're doing the oil size first. And then um, a lot of people, and I used one shot uh, gold leaf size, the quick size for years and switched to this a while back. Uh, well, maybe 10 years ago now. I really like it. Um, and then you're going to see the application of the leaf, which this is what's called patent leaf, which is um, gold leaf, pure gold leaf that's um, layered onto a piece of tissue paper so that you can get it all on there flat as one sheet. Um, and then after that's applied, then the engine turning, you'll see the engine turning process. Um, after that step is complete, the 
letters were completely clear coated, um, which we'll probably do a video on that as well as I, I want to do a, an in-depth video on all the different types of gold leaf and effects that you can get with them. We'll eventually do that. And then um, after the clear coat, it's a, it's a rapid dry clear coat. Once that clear coat is dry, um, you'll see in the video me doing the outlining um, of, the, of the black around the numbers. And so once that black is done, basically the car sits overnight and come the following morning, it's, it's good to go for years and years. So I wanted to include this video um, with the engine turning just because there's a couple different examples of gold leaf uh, work in this. This was shot by Explordinary who's done uh, quite a few features with us and we're working on an upcoming documentary um, when we travel to Nepal. But these uh, are, are both examples of surface gilding. Uh, which is the same as what was done on the um, sprint car. Uh, the difference being on the statue that that's actually um, what's known as um, schlag, which is uh, it's a collection of other metals. Um, essentially, it's fake gold. Uh, it's not actual 24 karat gold leaf that you're seeing on the statue. And then on the large Buddha painting, that's a combination of variegated 24 karat gold and a little bit of schlag. <laughs> Adios.